Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service here in uh, Central Washington. I uh, I went and I did it. I went out and I didn't go out. Well, I purchased online from Wish.com an amplifier because I really just wanted to see what kind of stuff you can buy and get on wish.com that i don't know uh has any form of value whatsoever to it i uh i don't know maybe i was bored i'm not sure but it just seemed pretty cool to do so this says it's a kl628 i have no idea what the kl628 means and it says 6800 watts which again i have no idea I have no idea what this means. Um, it's got two 20 amp fuses in it, and they're saying this is 6,800 watts. Well, that's what got me intrigued into the uh, ad that they had for this amplifier, um, which you can go on to wish and look, but the forum i think it was the forum specification for this was like 125 watts which believe it or not is more realistic uh which i will i think we'll see here once we dig into this thing a little bit uh so i just wanted to not do really do a review because i'm not much of a review person i uh i just want to see well what do they use in these wish.com amplifiers I think uh, Wilson Io Labs or Big D uh, did some uh, dyno testing on some of these uh, four-channel Wish amplifiers. If I remember right, I'd, I'd go check out his channel um, if you want any dyno information. Uh, I don't do dyno information. I I just uh, repair amps and I put them through load testing and get them back out the door. Uh, so I would suggest visiting Big D or Wilson Io Labs. I can't remember which one. Uh, is more into the dyno testing so uh, let's get on with this so this is a four channel amplifier again 220 amp fuses uh it's got let's see here it's got the world's brightest uh it's got the world's brightest led power light that you can imagine here's a little trick for you though if these blue leds get too obnoxious in your car at night just take your black sharpie and just put a little bit of Sharpie right on the right on around the lens of that LED. It really will tame that light down for you. Um, I had previously had install services as a business, and uh, that was one of the things that a lot of people were complaining about were these fancy lights that they're putting on amplifiers, which serve no purpose except to be able to charge more money for them. Uh, so that's what I do to tame down the LEDs is I just cover them up a little bit. And of course it does have a red protection LED and we will see what that protection LED is about. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and flip this over here and let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what this is made of. Uh, there's no warranty seals on these, which I'm not sure. I've heard some rumors that manufacturers aren't uh able to do that anymore um please uh leave it down below uh if uh that's true that you can't put warranty stickers void if removed or uh, some form of that fashion on your uh, amplifiers i'm too busy to keep up with all the forms of changes in legislature so i'm just too busy repairing getting them back on the road so let's pull this cover off here and see what we got oh yes this is your typical copy of a korean style amplifier um got your 12 volts in you got a Pretty hefty reverse polarity diode there. You have your input filter, inductor, your 
12 volt uh, capacitors, your filter capacitors, your transformer, your power supply transistors, 47 ohm gate resistors. You got a TL494 here super common your rectifiers and then of course your four channels of output um, notice that there is no glue holding any of these screws in place um, and oh hold hold on here there's not a single screw holding the board down that's funny not a single screw there's a hole here but there's no screw there uh, there's no holes anywhere else that's funny, they actually had to raise the board a little bit, it looks like here, to make things line up right. The thermal protection resistor here, the thermos thermistor, sorry, isn't even mounted down to the heat sink. So it will pick up your radiated heat. And your typical small rail capacitors here. Otherwise, it's your standard uh, it's your standard class a b amplifier the preamp yeah not much to say about these um i i comment about these class a b's i think on all my videos that i do pretty standard transistors that they use here yeah pretty straightforward so let's see what uh, components are using here actually before i pull any heat sinks let's see what the signal looks like so i have a 50 hertz uh, input signal going in. Let me ground my scope here. The joys of having floating power supplies. Got to make sure your scope is grounded. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, fire this amplifier up. With that 50 hertz signal, all potentiometers are all fully counterclockwise. As any time I test an amplifier, they're always counterclockwise. Um, oh, looks like I have to actually ground from my input signal here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. And there it is. We have a... Is it on the screen? Yep, you guys have it up on your screen there. Let me try to get this in the best I can for you. It's got a pretty decent uh, signal on the basis. Yeah, it's pretty decent. That's not too shabby. So I'm going to safely assume that we have a pretty decent output signal. Once I find it here, let me find what channel I'm on here. Oh, there we are. Yeah, so after your um, uh, out your RC resistor capacitor uh, snubber for the output, it's pretty clean. And uh, you'll see a 51.5 hertz. My... Uh, my Heath kit, my IG-1272 is off just a hair, and it's been slowly drifting over time, so I'm going to have to go back in and rebuild my signal generator. But otherwise, that's a pretty clean signal. Let me change to the other channel here. So, let me check the other channel. Yeah, pretty decent. I mean, uh... Pretty good signal there. Let's see what kind of rail voltage we have for this amplifier here. So we have uh, 26 volts positive and 26 volts negative. So it's not too shabby. You still could get uh, you know a decent amount of power, you know, for some pretty from for some smaller mids probably, or you could uh, for some tweeters. Since this is a full range amp, I mean the quality is not 100% the best, like, uh, but it's not too bad. So let's see what they're using here. That's the biggest thing that I'm after is what are they using to drive this? So let's just pull a couple of these uh, transistor bars off, and we'll see how well, this thing is made here. Sorry for the reach in front of the camera here. All right, let's review this. So we have IRFZ46s for the power supply, 47 ohm gate resistors. Again, super common off of a TL494. 
Uh, we have the typical 1620 uh, CT and CTR uh, rectifiers here. Fully encased. That's quite surprising that they used a fully encased rectifier there. Uh, no thermal compound whatsoever on that. Just dry as a bone to the heat sink. Uh, what are they using on the outputs? They're using the 5198s and the 1941s, which again is a super common transistor for uh, Korean amplifiers. Uh, so I could I could see that you could get your 100, and, oh, 100 watts per channel out of this thing with a pretty decent clean signal. Um, sure, nothing much more than that because you really don't have a lot of capacitance uh, to support that uh, 50 volt peak to peak rail there. But otherwise, you'd still get pretty decent sound for, for small mids and highs. So that's kind of what I was looking for on this amplifier. Just basic, straightforward. So there you go. Just a quick review of a Wish.com four-channel amplifier. You can get these uh, for about $50 and with the right coupons and discounts, possibly under $50. And... Um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these amps, I will try my best to have a code down here for you guys. If you want to save even more money on something like this. Again, they use some pretty decent output transistors uh, with some pretty decent rail voltage. And typical power supply. I mean, sure, you can still burn this up. You can burn any amplifier up. But I think it'll serve its purpose without the expectations of 6,800 watts. So, again, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy repair content and uh, even review content. I may do reviews in the future. It's hard to say if I have time to do that or not. So, uh, please leave your comments down below. I uh, always appreciate them. Thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video.